Hey everybody, QG here. So this is it, my inevitable Nikolai Nolsar Brawl 2 new and improved roster prediction. So this has been an eventful weekend. We've heard a lot of stuff from a lot of people, namely Papa Genos. So as far as we're aware, there are going to be, depending on if Vlad is playable or not, 36 characters if he's not, 37 if he is. So, we currently have seven unrevealed newcomers, LT Grey being one of them, of course, but pretty much everyone knows that he's in at this point, so I'm gonna predict that he's in. Shocker. Um, but from there, we have six other characters that we need to try figuring out. So, Papa Genos gave us a framework of what he believes this roster is like. Um, he said quite a bit that it's a very game mill slash ludosity roster. He said some of it's controversial. Um, and then he gave us like direct guidelines for character by character basis. So one of them is an unexpected character from an already represented series. The next character is a very outlandish pick apparently from the same series as the unexpected character. The third character is an unexpected but cool pick from a different, already represented series. The fourth character is a new series pick, so basically someone from a series that hasn't been represented in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl yet. The fifth character is a Spongebob character, we don't really know anything beyond that, just that it's a Spongebob character. And the sixth character that we know of is a mystery. Papa Genus has not implied any way, shape, or form who or what this character could even be, if it's popular, if it's not, if it's good, if it's bad, nothing. So I'm going to do my best to predict who's in. So starting off with the mystery character, I want to get that out of the way first. I think it pretty much has to be Zuko. We've seen the bridge stage. Uh, Zuko is a very popular request. It feels like all the signs are pointing to him being in, but Papa Genos did explicitly say when he first saw the first four batch of characters, and I think, or yeah, the first four batch of characters, he said he hasn't seen Zuka yet. And since the fifth character after that we know was a SpongeBob character, by process of elimination, Zuko can only be that mystery slot. So I think it's safe to assume that Zuko is most likely in the game. My next prediction from there is actually Casey Jones from Team NT. So this is a recent rumor that's been going around mainly on Smashboards, where they were talking, where someone is insistent that Casey Jones is in fact in the game. He's playable. Um, I suppose it kind of lines up with the idea of this being a somewhat controversial roster because not a lot of people want more Team NT reps than what we have. There was a good amount of people that didn't even want Donatello and Raphael honestly so Casey Jones being a character that gets in and being deemed controversial would make a lot of sense that being said I'd be cool with them I think it'd be fun to play as at least um as far as what place he'd take I would say he's probably the unexpected but cool pick I think that works based on you know, what Papa Genius has implied. I think it makes sense of Casey Jones, the unexpected but cool pick. I really don't see us getting two more TMNT reps. Because, like, three newcomers is one thing, but four newcomers on top of that would just be a bit much. From there, I want to get to the unexpected and really outlandish pick that are from the same series. The unexpected pick, um... So, again, Papa Genius has said this is a very Ludosity-ish roster. Um, I don't know if everyone knows this, but Ludosity, um, is based in Sweden, and apparently Sweden is very, very big on real monsters. Ah, real monsters, I mean, which is a big reason why Oblino got in in the first place. So, I think that it's a good chance we get two more real monsters characters. Uh, the first character I would expect, um, since it's unexpected, I suppose it inherently can't be Ickis, as much as I'd like him. So... My prediction for the unexpected spot here is actually Crumb, um, because I don't think really anyone expects that Crumb would get in the game, so I think he does fit that criteria. And then the truly outlandish pick from Real Monsters would be Simon Hunter, I think is his last name. Uh, this is a recurring character that basically hunts the monsters throughout the series. 
or attempts to. I don't think he really succeeds. I, I admittedly haven't watched a lot of real monsters, but I am somewhat familiar with this character. It feels like a very outlandish pick. It feels very out there, but it also feels like a game mill slash Ludosity pick, and I'd be curious to see what they do with them. Um, I suppose from there I can do the SpongeBob character next. I'm gonna guess it's actually Plankton. I've probably said before that I think it's like Mr. Krabs, but the the more I think about it, the more I think it is Plankton, and here's why. So, uh, as I've been noticing ever since even the first game, Plankton is pretty frequently appearing in crossover stuff, at least is playable, whereas Mr. Krabs just doesn't. Like, he just does not appear at all. I don't think there's a single Nicktoons crossover game where Mr. Krabs is actually playable. Um, and I think the biggest reason for that is that apparently Mr. Krabs' voice actor is kind of infamously more expensive than the average, uh, even SpongeBob voice actor. So, I think Plankton would make sense here. Now, of course, I've brought up the idea of Larry before, and I do think he's a decent third option. And I could even see them potentially having Plankton, like, use a Chum Bucket helmet to control Larry to sort of accommodate the size issue. Uh, you know, the size issue being that Plankton's tiny. But generally speaking, I, it just, I don't know. Like, it could be a Ludosity pull, but I feel like Plankton's the more likely option. Like, I don't think they would hear the rapid request for Mr. Krabs and Plankton and then go, we should add Larry. Like, I don't think they would do that. So, um, and then of course, I already talked about Mr. Krabs. So in the end, I think it kind of has to be Plankton. Uh, especially since you would think since in these Nicktoons crossover games, he's met and worked with Vlad before. You would think if he's like a boss in the campaign or something, we would have seen him by now. Or he'd be working alongside Vlad. But uh, generally speaking, yeah, it seems like he might just end up being in the roster. And of course, this would also be the pick from Quad League. So uh, probably no Ickis, probably no Otis, probably no Tommy. And the final pick. This is the really, um, this is a really out there prediction, I guess. Um, but I'm thinking it could be Tack from Tack and the Power of Juju. And there's two reasons I say this. One, uh, Rep the you know who we've um talked to most from ludosity has made it pretty known that he's a big fan of the games so i think at least there could be some push for tack from ludosity or at least from rep himself the other thing is this you know jungle temple stage um people have been speculating what the stage should be some have said hey arnold some have said um wild thornberries i personally think that this could be attack in the power juju stage just based on comparison pictures i think it fits the best um and i also think he fits in line with the idea of these picks being kind of controversial um so yeah i think this this feels right I guess. I don't think I've really missed any details or anything or anything that Papa Genius has implied. Um, as far as like other potential picks, I've already brought up Larry. Maybe he's in, maybe he's not. Probably not. Um, it's possible Otis is the third party pick instead. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I just feel like Tack is more of a Ludosity pick, I guess. And I'm putting a lot of stock in that, I suppose. Um, there is the other possibility of the unexpected but cool pick being, like, Gerald from Hey Arnold. He's usually deemed cool, and he would be unexpected in favor of Arnold, and, uh, it's possible the temple stage is actually his stage, you know, so maybe it's a Hey Arnold stage. Uh, of course, if that's the case, then I imagine Tack would instead be Otis, but from there, Otis, or Plankton, would have to be someone else because then that contradicts Quad Lake. So, I don't know, maybe then it'd be Mr. Krabs or something. Um, and then, I, I don't know, I really, I kind of do want another Loud House character. I think it would make sense for it to get a third character by now since pretty much every recent Nicktoons crossover game has had three Loud House characters. Um, preferably Luna. I don't know for sure if we'd get... Luna, but that's be that'd be who I prefer. Um, 
But yeah, I don't know. I suppose Loud House doesn't strike me as a Ludosity pick. Maybe a Game Mill pick, but I'm not sure. And then this one is more just a personal want of mine. But I suppose the unexpected but cool pick could also be Dr. Hutchison. We know that Diego from Fair Play Labs, um, for those that don't remember, was the guy who said before he was confirmed that Rocco was going to pee in the game. Uh, he was the guy that was like in the interview and said Rocco will be in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl and said that before Rocco was actually revealed. And as far as we can tell, he is still a very big Rocco fan, so I could see them potentially pushing for another Rocco character as well. Um, but that's more wishful thinking because I just really, really want Dr. Hutchison. I think she would be a really cool pick and really funny as well. I think she fits this game perfectly. But yeah, that is my Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 roster prediction. Um, I guess as far as the DLC goes, I could see like, oh, Timmy, maybe like, uh, Miko. I don't know, maybe Cat Scratch. I suppose that's starting to become a thing. And then maybe like some other returning series. So maybe that's where we'd see like Tommy or Angelica or something. But yeah, I guess that's it for my roster prediction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 videos. Keep an eye out for any leaks in the future and any announcements in the future. And until the next one, peace.